get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Clinch, Jim Marbaum. I'm at the Hilton Hotel today in Park Lane. With me, I've got undefeated talent, Lerone Richards. Firstly, how are you, mate? I'm feeling great, man. Thank you. I say congratulations on your win tonight. Brutal stuff in the first round. Can you talk me through it a little bit? Well, I started fast, just establishing my jab, and obviously just kept pushing, going up the gears, and then the referee ended up jumping in, stopping the fight. I mean, what's been the reason for you not pushing on a little bit sooner? Fantastic amateur pedigree, fantastic sort of profile from the amateurs as well, coming into the paid ranks. But this, this, what's been the reason for this two-year hiatus, if you like? Uh, keep it short and sweet. It's just like I was just around the wrong people. That's all it was, and I was waiting out a contract for two and a half years um, uh, because a particular person, I don't want to name drop, was um, holding me in a contract for a certain amount of money, a substantial amount of money, which they didn't invest in me. So that's why I haven't been boxing. Where do you stand now in terms of promotion? You're now with the iBox gym trained by Al Smith and Eddie Lamb. Am I right in thinking you're now promoted by Frank Warren and Box Nation? That's right, I'm now promoted by Frank Warren, um, promoted by Frank Warren and obviously managed by Frank Warren and Francis Warren, who's my manager. So I'm being looked after now and um, how I should have been looked after at the, when I first turned pro. Um, but yeah, I'm with them now, so onwards and upwards. How old are you now, 24? I'm 24 now. Yeah. 24, 5-0, oh, good yeah. head on your sort of shoulders and now. Do you feel like you can really make a statement in the paid ranks? Absolutely, but everything's timing. And um, when the right time is, when, it, when the right time comes, um, I'll be ready. Now, there's a story I want to speak to you a little bit about this week that's made a lot of, lot of sort of page headlines on the internet and stuff. There's been, well... A spa between yourself and Chris Eubank Jr., which we're led to believe you got the better of, and then there was an altercation after the spa. Can you explain that to us and sort of tell us what, what sort of went on? Do you know what? I don't usually talk about sparring, um, and I'm not going to start, yeah, but if you want to know the, the, the truth and what Billy Joe Saunders said was right, and um, we'll just leave it as that. What, what did Billy Joe Saunders say from the viewers that may not be sort of aware of the quote? Well, he said I polarized him and he said that I schooled him. And that's what happened. Was there an altercation after in the gym? Yeah, he said I wouldn't make it. He said that um, I wouldn't make it with that attitude because I had a little twinge in my back. And um, initially I was meant to do six rounds anyway. But after doing the six rounds, he wanted another two. Obviously, because obviously the previous rounds he'd done with me before, he, he had no success. So I said to him, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to risk any injury. So he came up to me and said, oh, you're not going to make it with that attitude. And I said to him, I was still polite. I said to him, I said, I'm sure you'll make it. And I'm sure I will make it too, Chris. He said to me, I've already made it. I'm British champion. And then obviously a few was after that. And then we left the gym. What went through your mind at that point when the British champion saying something like to you? Nothing. Nothing went through my mind at all. But at the end of the day, we're all on different journeys, you know. And obviously, I went down there to push on and to, pro and to learn and progress with my, my skills and, and see my career. So that's why I went down there. And um, him saying that to me, I just thought, OK. Sparring stuff very rarely gets spoken about. And it's never usually the fighter directly speaking about it. But the fact that Chris Eubank Jr.'s camp put out footage of him pole in an amateur, does that make you more more willing to speak about that than other situations? No, because when I went to see, when I went to Spa Christian Jr., you know, I was saying to everyone that I knew, because some people don't like him, some people do. And um, I went there with a clear mind. I just wanted to, I just, wanted, I just went in there with a clear mind to judge him for myself and to see what sort of person he is. And by spending time talking to him and after the spa, the words he was saying to me, I realised that he's not, a, he's not for me. That's what I should say. He's not for me. Maybe for other people, but not me. Do you think you and him will meet in the paid ranks in the ring for some sort of, some sort of clash in the future? Who knows? Only God knows. 
that's all I have to say. I appreciate your honesty in asking him a question so well. Congratulations on your win tonight. When is there anything penciled in was as to when we can see you back in action? Looking at December, I think. And if I could get out sooner, that would be great. I just want to be kept busy and kept active because um, that's something that I've lacked in my career so far. Um, so that's something that I want to I want to start doing. I want to keep keep active. I also, um, so I thank people as well. Like, I just want to thank because um, I work two jobs. So I work for. What Tesco. do you do in the day? What do you do in your days? Uh, well, <laughs> I work I work for Tesco's as a stock controller, and obviously I'm a doorman as well. Um, so I do two jobs, and uh, yeah, I just want to thank my my management, well, my manager, um, Ash, Camelia, and uh, VG, VJ, sorry, should I say, and for giving me the time off, so I can focus on my on my boxing throughout this camp. Um, I just want to thank f my family, my friends, my mum and my dad, especially. Obviously, the time I've had out, they've been they've been there to support me, and also the boys at the iBox, Al Smith. Um, working with me, being patient with me and, and teaching me and um, helping me develop in my boxing. Listen, you're a real humble young man and I wish you the best of success in your journey from here on, here on in. Lerone Richards, thank you very much for talking to RFL TV. Thank you, James. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, mate.